Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, in today's video I'm gonna release staggering information about the so-called animal activist Earthling Ed, aka Ed Winters. From the very first day that Earthling Ed popped on the scene, I could sense something was not right about this guy. A feeling of fakeness, an orchestrated performance. His quick rise to fame, being invited to speak at Howard University and other prestige organizations seemed just a bit too coincidental. Why him? Is Earthling Ed truly the benevolent being that has nothing but good intentions for his fellow man and the animals? Who is Ed Winters? I was already focused on other aspects of the vegan agenda. I was busy exposing the lies that we've been fed. Through my Ask a Farmer series, I displayed that vegans kill more animals than pure carnivores. I almost forgot about Earthling Ed until I got contacted by an influential professional that has been in the field of journalism for over 20 years. I was provided with groundbreaking information that will expose this death cult for what it is. All of the information provided is verified and it is traceable. I will post the links in the description box for you to check them out. Listen, this series is not to slander Earthling Ed, Ed Winters. This is to expose the vegan agenda for what it is. It is an artificially created, dangerous movement which has actors put into place to brainwash the masses and the most vulnerable ones. Our children. My source does not want to be named and will stay anonymous because of the grave danger that comes with exposing the vegan agenda. Talking about it publicly can destroy your reputation and end your career. When we look at Earthling Ed, we see a poor animal activist, humble guy who relies on patrons. He lives off donations and fights the good fight. For the animals, for the people, for the environment, he talks at universities and schools to your children. What a nice guy, this Earthling Ed. But how come that such a humble animal activist in his early 20s can open up a vegan restaurant called Unity Diner in Hoxton, London? The rental unit price in Hoxton, London is round about £30,000 per year. How can Ed Winters afford it? How come that he lives in London? which is the most expensive place in the UK. And it's not exactly the center of factory farming either, or a geographically good location for an animal activist. Do his supporters realize what a comfortable lifestyle they are providing him with? Let's have a look at his homepage, unitydiner.co.uk. If you scroll down the menu, you will see the Moving Mountains burger and hot dogs. We can talk about the horrible ingredients later, but first things first. Earthling Ed claims that all the money goes to search animal activism. Is that really so? Simply claiming that a company is not for profit does not mean that it is. Here is a link in the Times newspaper of February 2019. Simon van der Molen is the owner of Moving Mountains and he talks about the $25 million deal with a major meat supplier, Jan Sandbergen. The journalist talks about the ethical dilemma and Simeon actually says, a lot of vegans would not like this. He justifies it by saying getting into bed with his competitor, gets his product out to the mass market. However, most vegans would say he's putting profit before ethics. He has been open about this. He is not keeping it hidden, but Earthling Ed is. The vegans using Unity Diner 
would not want their money going to the supplier. There is an Instagram page for Unity Diner and Moving Mountains, so you can see how closely they are linked. So much for it being an ethical vegan restaurant. All profits apparently go to animal activism. What so-called ethical vegan would ever use a supplier that makes millions of pounds in profit from the meat industry? Earthlinghead wants to lecture us on ethics and morals. He is allowed into primary schools to brainwash our children, encourage them not to eat animal foods. He is giving incorrect info about environmental issues. How could any school or university that allows him to give talks when they don't even know his real name? So my name's Ed Winters. So my name's Ed Winters. On the Unity Diner website, it states that the company behind Unity Diner is Twix and Grass LTD. In the UK, you can search a company by simply using the company's house website. Any member of the public can do this. It's a free service, but most people simply don't know about it. Apparently it is a tool that journalists often use for research. So to save you the time, my source listed the relevant links. On the link of company's house, you can access incorporation date, company directors and accounts. And if you search for Twix and Grass LTD, you will see that it has been set up as a private limited company, not as a charity or a non-profit company. Now of course a private LTD company can give its profits to charity. However, if you intend to be non-profit, the usual practice is to incorporate the company that way in the first place. It's very straightforward. Keep things transparent and congruent. I could find zero information using the name Ed Winters. How could someone with such a high profile name have no trace on Google? But when I pulled up the list of company directors for Twix and Grass LTD, bingo! I found the name Edward Gaunt. My source had to run background checks, birth records. This guy has gone to such lengths not to leave any trace. Who is Earthling Ed? Who is Edward Gaunt? He has not legally changed his name. Which is why he had to list his real name in order to be registered as the director with company's house register. And he does not provide his home address, but an accountant's address. The company's address is an accommodation address. It's not illegal to use. But again, he's going to a lot of trouble to hide his identity and location. If you position yourself as a public figure, especially one that receives thousands of pounds in donations, you have to be accountable and transparent. It is not okay to use a false name. If he is doing it to protect his family, who are not vegan, what about the small farms that he storms? He reveals their names, their location. They get hate messages, death threats. My source dealt with the media for over 20 years and is fully convinced that this guy had intense presentation training. It is not a coincidence that he is speaking at Harvard, giving TED talks. Plant-based news promotes him and runs articles on that guy. In our research, we discovered his father's Facebook page and his stepmother's Facebook page. Out of respect for their privacy, I'm not gonna display them here. But I want to show you a photo of Earthling Ed's mom's wedding 10 years ago. Here we see a very young Edward Gaunt.